How's it going, boys? Your boy JB, and we are back with episode number two, The Poor Man Road to Glory. Uh, you can see me right now, I'm just buzzing my way through and getting some of the old um, objectives kind of fixed and sorted out uh, and working. So effectively, uh, in today's video, we're going to open up the squad battle rewards I've been working on all last week. Um, I'm hopefully getting the gold one all being well. Um, but also at the same time, um, I had a plan, so I had a plan for Defenders. Uh, I want to bring in the Ruben Vezo um, foot birthday card. And I was planning on saving up as well for a version of um, Ruben Diaz until EA very kindly, I have to say, very kindly, um, put a copy of good old Pepe um, in as a foot captain. So. Uh, we are going to be working on that and trying to get Pepe done today, but the idea is to try and make as much money as possible in this episode. You'll see we're around 38 or 30,000 coins at this point. All of that was literally made by doing Bronze Pack Method uh, and then doing the some of the starter SBCs, etc, etc. And you can see here, uh, we're just bringing Pepe up now to get a wee look at him, but you know he does look pretty good as far as you know this card is concerned. I'm very very excited actually about getting them if we can. I managed to do the the squad, but I don't have a inform. So once we get the inform, then uh, we should be good to go. Uh, so all being well, we'll get that in this episode. Um, but with that being said, uh, let's move on. As always, boys, if you enjoying the content and the video, then give me a wee thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to have a chat to me about the content or maybe uh, give me some more information or ideas on what we can do with the channel, by all means, hit the comments box down below. Otherwise, let's get back to the video. All right, then let's get on with these uh, rewards. See what we can get. This is a couple of the packs, actually, that we pulled out of um, the milestones, I think, earlier on tonight. Um, so we do get Susu so in the first. Um, nothing massive or strange or starting. Uh, it's just a three-player common goal pack. Uh, they'll just get shunted straight into the club. Um, next up, I think we do the 275s, I think, don't we? Yeah, pretty sure we do those. Um, these again... Uh, I think we get boards out of one of these now that this one maybe the next one um, brings us in regular. It's always nice, great player, great player. Um, and of course we get a Premier League contingent in those ones. Um, and then for the last of the two 75 to 83s we get, yeah we get boards on this one. Uh, I believe it's a goalkeeper, it is, it's Leno. Um, from Arsenal uh, along with I think we get Sirigu in this one as well we do along with Sirigu so effectively what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the three sets of packs right uh, these are the ones that came from uh, Squad Battle so I think we'll do the Jumbo first and effectively what we're going to do is try and sell everything out of them so you'll see and uh, once we get this open let's have a look and see who we get we get centre forward Korea from Inter Milan, uh, which is great. He's, he's such a wee player as well, too. Um, fantastic card last year, FIFA 2021, 20, so, excuse me, should say. But you'll see, I'm just dumping everything up onto the trade pile at the minute, because at the, at the minute with PMRTG, any tradable pack is tradable, therefore we sell them for coins. I'm trying to get my coins up to 53k, because that's what I need to buy the um, Ruben Vezo and the inform that I need to finish off Pepe. Let's see what we get here. It's Rui Diaz. Yeah, it is indeed. So nothing again major out of that pack. Um, but again, all tradable. So I'm uh, fairly sure we dump all of the golds up for sure um, and keep the silvers and bronzes because um, there weren't any decent ones from decent leagues that would actually sell at least so that's what I thought to myself well look we'll just dump them straight into the club and we'll go from there um, and then we do the Prime Electrum players pack at the end um, and you know fingers crossed when we do all of this then uh, that will give us what we need um, I think it's Cramerich it is yep yeah. um, to put all of these coins together get everything together and get it sorted out and kind of go from there so 
as I put all of these up into the um, trade pile or at least the ones I'm going to sell you'll see I do sell I do send up some of the silvers here what we're going to do now is because obviously you missed the very beginning whenever we put the Portuguese team kind of together through the you know the usual starting point in uh, foot 22 I thought I would drop it in now and we can talk um, through it as to what I chose and what I picked and uh, to make it kind of understandable for the series moving forward um, and then from there what we'll do is we'll have a look to see whether we did what we needed to do in order to get Vezo and Pepe so I'll be back in a wee second all right there we go so I was going to choose Netherlands originally um, but um, the reason I chose Portugal sort of start off with that the reason we chose Portugal um, as we bring in our first pack um, is because I wanted to do the um, what do you call it icon swaps so I do yet um, and use the silver player so that we get the two um, what do you call it the two tokens that we needed in order to do the 81 by 25 which we had just done there on the stream on third and Saturday night or Friday night I think it was it was Friday night and uh, Joao Mario uh, this year for at least for this account was the first player brought out so it's worthwhile pointing that out and you can see me here I'm just going through the players that I've got in order to try and work out better chemistry uh, across all of those players um, and it's pretty much the you know the starting point uh, I guess for everybody and I would suggest to everybody to do the chemistry first before you do anything else you know because uh, it'd be far far easier and far far better um, to get it done now and you'll find that you'll do quite a lot of um, what's the word quite a lot of the um, as we choose Rafa there uh, you do quite a lot of the chemistry stuff that you need to do in the foundation part you can get all that done relatively quickly um, depending on how you get on I'm pretty sure I choose the England kit because I always like a white kit um, I like a definite differentiation between the kits uh, I will change that at some point um, and then I'm fairly sure I chose the green Wolfsburg kit there as well uh, again definite variation between those and it's actually quite a cool looking kit uh, so it is so very very good uh, I chose enter just to begin with um, and kind of I like that badge I love their new badge their new badges class so with that being said that's us we've got a Portuguese team uh, you saw last in the last video what we did with that Portuguese team so now let's go and have a look and see how we got on with Pepe and Vezo so there we go so we're just popping in now to do Pepe um, I'll run through all of the players here I'm pretty sure that the only player that we actually bought was uh, the inform I'm pretty sure everything else was first owner um, and to be honest I'm very pleased to get him if I'm being truthful I'm, I'm actually quite looking forward to um, getting a shadow on him and seeing what he kind of looks like and uh, going from there but we need to get some more coins back in the bank from that uh, but yeah everything was first owner and um, so we'll send him through and we'll get as we walk out I did have to get rid of a couple of players out of the main team but they weren't actually a part of the main team they were just the super subs really so let's have a wee look at them coming in there he is Pepito 89 this fabulous um, dynamic image dynamic image is very very good to be fair on this card uh, I like it a lot uh, we take a quick oh we don't take a quick look at the stats we'll probably look at that a little bit later um, then I'm going to move on now and I'm going to see if I can get this card uh, this Vezo card uh, I think of 43 left maybe 44 left can't just see in the top corner there exactly how much it was but uh, I'm fairly sure that it didn't cost me as much as I thought it was going to cost me because I've still got about three and a half thousand coins left after ban them um, luckily all of that stuff sold um, that we put up on the trade pile so that will help us to get them uh, I do make a stupid mistake I always make that mistake it always goes to compare price but I got them uh, on the buy now uh, which is very very good uh, again the only thing that's in down is the two star a week food to be honest with you but I'm not overly concerned to be quite honest with you he's got very good stats uh, as far as that's concerned and I also got him with a shadow on him as well which is what I was going to put on him anyway so that's always good um, and I guess now we'll just pop him into the team 
Um, this is my silver team that have been rocking. We're doing the silver objectives out of the milestones at the minute. Um, whilst I'm doing my squad battles games. This new defence now will support me with... Um, what do you call it? Uh, rivals, because we still have three rivals games to play. Uh, where we need to get wins, or at least we have to get three more wins and kind of go from there. And then once we've done that, then... And uh, we should be good to go, hopefully. So when I stop faffing about with the team, we'll actually put them in and we can get a look at them uh, within the team and see what they're like. So I'm pretty sure we'll go... Do we go Vezo first? Yeah, we do indeed. Um, and then we can get rid of Pepito um, later. The only thing I realised was once I put Pepito in, my favourite... One of my favourite goalkeepers actually is Vlacotomus. Uh, I'm assuming I'm butchering his name completely, to be honest. So we did have to put... Um, Rui Patricio back in again just to get everybody on the full cam but it also means that Bruno's on cam as well um, so it's pretty pretty good so we've got every single person on 100 cam 85 rated so we can start to do the 85 rated milestone objectives so not too bad at all so there you go boys that's um, rewards running through the Portuguese team we managed to buy a fantastic defence and we're going to work towards a better left back as well on top of that probably a better version of uh, Manafa but with that being said if you enjoy what you see here don't forget to click that like button down below if you're new around here subscribe to the channel that would be absolutely super and if you enjoyed the episode or want to talk to me about the episode then drop me a comment down below otherwise I mean your boy JB I'll see you all again very very soon